I studied long non-coding RNAs and the best opportunity for my postdoc was with the Olitsky lab at the Weizmann Institute. I saw my PI talk at a conference that I was attending while I was a PhD student and I was amazed by his science, so I just had to apply. I'm a biologist and I work on lung cancer. My PI is a very well-known scientist in the cancer field and that's the reason why I was eager to apply and join his lab. To be honest, I wasn't completely aware of all the amazing opportunities to do research in Israel until I started telling my colleagues about this opportunity and they were very excited for me. I was really amazed by uh, the vision my PI has scientifically for the lab. And I also really like that while I have my freedom and my independence, he's very aware of what I'm doing and he's very supportive. My supervisor, I believe, has some of the best traits in a scientist. He encourages independence and at the same time, he also promotes a collaborative process. My PI has uh, several meetings with collaborators and uh, pharma companies and when these meetings are related to my topic, I'm always there with him and I'm the one presenting the data and I think this is a great opportunity for me. The biggest difference that I've noticed between my lab in Israel and other labs from other countries is the importance placed on collaboration. In Israel, everybody wants to help you, even people from other labs. So the informal professional atmosphere in Israel is personally great because it reminds me a lot of home back in Costa Rica, but I think this is also great for science. You don't have to think for 10 hours before you write an email to your PI. You can just do it naturally and I think it makes for a more relaxed environment. Without being in my PI's labs here in Israel, I would have never been able to get my next job, which is a dream position in a university in Italy, in Rome. And I have to say that I will be forever grateful for this experience in Israel. <laughs>